We're going to do now is we're going to discuss this awful condition, migraine. If you suffer from them, you know, um, our, our sympathies to you. Um, awful. I know people who have them and I know how awful it is. Very debilitating. Nine million people apparently live with the suffering, of the, the misery of migraine. Uh, at two... 100,000 people just today in this country will, we'll be, get an will be having a migraine attack. Maybe you're one of them. Well, that's the bad news. The good news is this gentleman here, we've had him on the programme before. He's a friend of the programme. He is the country's leading migraine uh, man. He is Professor Peter Goldsby. Very good to see you again, good um, Professor. Um, is a migraine a headache? Is it, are they one and the same thing? Is it a more extreme form? How, what is a migraine? So migraine is a brain disease which involves really bad headache, as you said, but more complex than that, it involves other brain dysfunction, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to sound, sensitivity to smells, concentration problems. A migraine ruins people's lives, but doesn't shorten them. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what kind of people are most likely to suffer? Age groups, male, female, type of work they do? Do these all have... An effect. Yeah, migraine is particularly a disorder of females. There's three females for every male, and it tends to strike people in their productive years, really, between uh, post puberty up to about the uh, age of 60. Why is where the dominant. Women? Well, we think it's a hormonal thing. Mm -hmm. Clearly, women become are more likely to have it after they uh, start having their periods. Mm -hmm. uh, they're more likely to have it when they ovulate mid-cycle. Mm -hmm. They're more likely to have it when they're having their uh, when they're bleeding, when they're having their menses. But not when they're pregnant. Apparently. No, no. Yeah. Pregnancy is probably the best treatment we have that's known for yeah. migraine. Gosh. Yes. So the idea being that you're, pro you're producing something and scientists have got to find out what is being produced. Yeah, we think that pregnancy stabilises the female hormones and that's what in large measure stops, pregnant, uh, stops uh, migraine during pregnancy. 